In a previous video, in the upper right, we made the case for removing the packing wax from new chains. The wax is there to coat the chain to protect it from rust and corrosion while it's being stored before it's sold, not as a lubricant. In fact, it's so sticky, it's going to pick up more dirt and grime and wear your chain a whole lot faster. Previously, we used pure gum turpentine, but we have a safer, more efficient, and eco-friendly way to remove that wax. Let's take a look. What we're going to need is a few items. Some type of container. It can be a plastic container to place the chain. Simple Green, which we have found to be an effective degreaser, is non-toxic, no harmful fumes, and in fact, according to the EPA, we can dump this down the drain after using. It is cheaper than most bicycle degreasers per ounce, and we only need a small amount. Some dishwashing liquid, here we're going to use Dawn, and either an old toothbrush or to make it even more efficient, we have a toothbrush that we've taped together that can clean the chain rapidly. I also use, out of habit, gloves to protect my hands, although it's not absolutely necessary in this case, it's just a matter of habit. Place the chain and the master link in the container. Spray with some simple green. Shake it up a bit. Using either your single toothbrush or, in my case, ones taped together, find the end of the chain. We'll give the whole thing a good scrubbing. Then we'll get the sides. The whole chain. And don't forget the master link. Once we've completed that, I shake it up again. Sometimes we can, if you want, you can add a little bit more of the simple green, let it soak for an hour or two. And finally, it's only a little bit in here, we'll just dump that out. We'll give it a nice rinse with some warm water. Throw it back in the water. Add a little bit of Dawn. Shake it up. One more scrub. Again, you want a scrubbing the rollers all the way down and the outer plates all the way down. When you finish scrubbing, you can dump it out and we'll rinse the chain. I could just wipe down the chain to dry it out. I've made a hook out of a wire hanger and there's a hook at each end so I can hook so I can hook one end on the chain and the other from a small hook I have here in the ceiling. Here we go and makes it very efficient for wiping down the chain thoroughly. Let it sit for another hour or so to let any other water evaporate and you're ready to install the chain.
You can also use this technique if you just want to remove a grimy, dirty chain and get it sparkling clean. Please stay away from such solvents as gasoline, kerosene, and other toxic materials. Your health is just not worth the risk of using those products. If you have any additions, questions, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.